looks like a bad idea. That's loud. Yes, yes that is. That's what happens when you buy. So would you like to stick your hand in there and mix them up or should we get I will mix them. I will mix them as I speak. Hi there fans of Murder and Mayhem. Welcome back to Frybox 64 Productions. I'm your hostess with the mostest, Frybox64. That guy right there is some guy named Joe. You so, for what may be our very last baking video or cooking video here on the Frybox64 Productions channel, more details to come, uh, we decided that we're going to be doing something a little bit different here. <clears throat> for this episode, since we have been watching a lot of baking shows since we've been kind of locked inside with the quarantine, and, and especially over the holidays, don't eat the stuff! We picked Stop the Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Let me get through the intro first. Anyway. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Anyway, so stop eating all of them! My gosh! I can't work with this guy. I only have like six. So, after watching all of these lovely baking shows that cause, uh, that, that force bakers to think on the fly and make these cupcakes, cookies, cakes with very limited time and thinking on their feet and all that stuff, we thought that it would be kind of a fun idea to do our own kind of little baking challenge. Not the baking challenge! <laughs> different from the baking challenge that we did before. So for this one, um, I got the idea from how like the boxes of the different Jelly Belly jelly beans would tell you to try different jelly beans and different combinations to get different flavor profiles. So what we're going to be doing today is the Jelly Bean Flavor Roulette Challenge. So what we're going to do is we have, I have gone out, found the, the store with the Jelly Belly Jelly Bean Dispensary and have purchased three pounds of jelly beans. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw three flavors. Beforehand, we rolled on our baking chart, I will put it here next to my face, uh, for what kind of baked good that we are going to be baking with these. <clears throat> um, I rolled cake while Jill rolled cupcake and Gunter rolled cupcake as well. I'll make a very unique cupcake. <clears throat> so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be drawing three jelly beans out of this pile. Well, the first one is going to be for the flavor of the cake. Second one is going to be the, for the flavor of the frosting. Third one is going to be for the filling or some other type of extra garnish or thing that you add in with it. Uh, but once you draw those jelly beans, whatever you do, you get to choose whatever, what you do with it. Those are the, that's just the main rule. That, that order that you draw those jelly beans, that's what your cupcake or cake has to be flavored. Okay, so I am blindfolding myself. This one feels nice. Okay. Tell me what color it is. No. I don't know. I didn't hold the first one out. I'm sorry about that. I will hold it out. See, it's... Here's the second one! Oh. And then this last one is what my filling or garnish or other extra item is going to be. Intriguing. This is so unusual. All right. There we go. You know, if you tie that any tighter, <laughs> you're going to squeeze my brains out of my ears. <laughs> I'm going to show the camera. Excuse me. So his first one is this one. Kind of funky looking one. Oh. <laughs> we got a cheater over here. No, you can't. He drew like... it and pulled it out of the ball and he put it back. I can't see. I... Move it. There we go. I, okay. I can't see either. Okay, there we go. So that's 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 the other one. Hold on. What are you doing? No, that's cheating. All right, and this is the third one that he pulled. <laughs> Those are insanely different flavors. <laughs> I'll go first. You're like red, red, orange. I'm like I don't know what that color He's is. He's like three different shades of green. Hey Internet, I'm Gunter with Mini Mishaps Games, and today we're going to be baking some cupcakes. So let's get baking! Three, two, one! Contestants, bake! Alright, let's get baking. No, that would be a whole different, separate flavor. Alright, so there is a lot of volume in cotton candy that is just air. So we're going to use the big bowl for the cotton candy one. I'm just going to break it into little pieces so it mixes better. I'm going to start grab bricks to people that are charred on the bottom and can't taste like anything except disappointment and shame. He's being a cheater. I never said I could not do this or remake mine. So for my cinnamon cake, 
I'm getting kind of creative with this. You're probably wondering what the powdered pink stuff is right here. That is pulverized uh, cinnamon imperials, they're called. And I'm really hoping that this breaks down and stirs in. Otherwise, it might be just weird little candy bits inside the cupcakes. What you got there, Joe? Something special. Ooh, can I see what is in your hand? Can't you? I'm zooming in on it right now. There it is. What, what, can you tell us what that is? This is a uh, Lorraine, it's called a it Lorraine oil, used in candy making. With the last cupcakes, not only were they burnt, but I noticed that I could taste zero watermelon. Mm -hmm. I'm going to fix that this time. Oh. I want people to know that they're tasting watermelon. He's going to fix it this time. Do you sit here and you go that doo 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 that. <laughs> I do that doo 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 doo. Woo woo. <laughs> hey, what is that? <laughs> so, we are going to dump an entire bag of pulverized Red Hots into the dry mix here. Did I get all of it? Where are all my measuring cups? It's got green in it too. I wonder if the other one's supposed to have green. All right, we got dry ingredients first. Two and a half cups halved is one and a quarter cups of flour. There we go. One and a quarter cups of flour. You will know that this is watermelon when you. Have this, I make sure that this tastes like water. I'm going to have a cup of coffee. Have a cup of coffee. Have two, if there's two left. Smells like a watermelon jelly rancher over here. Mm-hmm. Just want to put a few more tiny drops just for good luck. That's a skill check thing I can do. And that will be a cool. Oh, I got some of it on my hands. Make me a smell like watermelon for two. I will get the extension cord. Take the processor with you or not. Okay. Somewhere. I will, it goes somewhere I can't reach. Because I am fun size. So I have no idea how adding an additional dry component is going to work with this. How much did that bag even weigh? Ten and a half ounces. Interesting. So the strategy is we're going to do what the box mix says. And we are going to then gauge how moist it is. After I've chucked these little guys in here and blended them into a fine paste. Baking powder and salt. Three teaspoons of baking powder. I'm going to be using my half teaspoon here. So I'm going to put in three because a half, a tea, half of three is one and a half. And these are halves. So that's three halves. Didn't know you were getting a math lesson with your baking today. So, while I was at the store today, mm. picking up an ingredient, because we used the last of the eggs for the most part too, so I had to get eggs, I found watermelon Mountain Dew. Woo. So that's a, this watermelon flavored, and this time I'm going to make sure to put these in here all the way first. Make sure that one doesn't fall out. Oh, we drop them. Ah! Did <laughs> you turn it off? I'm going to lose a finger while playing with this. You guys, when you combine pink food coloring with blue and green and yellow food coloring, you get this color. But we're calling this watermelon rind green. This is going to be the bottom of our watermelon. Moist. And they've been sitting on the oven. I think they're dry. Will it turn it red, though, is the question. It is turning a very bright pink. Close enough. Yeah, so that is really thick, so I might add like a little bit more like oil maybe, water. Cinnamon whiskey. Don't listen to me. Ooh, that's a good idea. I am like multi-mixer fluent. Multi-mixer fluent? <laughs> yes, I can I, use hand mixers and mixers. The last time I used mixers. a hand mixer, I was probably like five or six. We gotta get this nice good color. And just to make sure, like last time, I'm going to, of course, add a little bit of food coloring in here because I want this to be that nice watermelon pinkish reddish color. So it was totally on purpose, right? Yeah, we'll go with that. Some pans.
three rainbow ones. Oh, I filled the cupcake liners way too high. Pulling a total nailed it right now. Nailed it, please sponsor me. Get me on an episode. Notice me, senpai. Notice me, Wes! Wes! Notice Wes. me! Oh, batter! Time for your sauna treatment. I wonder if that'll give it like cinnamon crunchy texture on the inside. Wonder. Not supposed to taste with raw batter. No pinky taste. Well, what's the verdict? That's interestingly good. <laughs> oh, you're putting more in! Why are you putting more in? Why are you doing that? You're gonna watch me not grease the cups this time because you don't want me to grease the cups. Mm -hmm, don't do it. Old Frybox over there has made cupcakes in the oven using the same temperatures but not burn them. Yeah. And I want to know what I did wrong. Mm hmm. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take regular vanilla frosting that also happens to be neon pink. And I'm going to be mixing in watermelon Mio for my watermelon. That is very pink. So pink. That is also super watermelon-y. We got super pink with super red. Cakes are in the oven! I have all this powdered sugar. Well, not one third of this, but one third cup of butter, which is approximately this much. Aha! That would have looked cooler if I used a sharper knife. Now, Frybox here did make one really good choice. Hmm. She made sure her butter was softened for the recipe, not fresh from the fridge. <laughs> Taking it fresh from the fridge, you're going to have a lot of. If you don't soften your butter, you're going to have bad time. Now what flavor is your frosting supposed to be again? It's going to be very cherry. Yummy. Which, it might not be artificially cherry, but I'm going for a slightly more realistic approach. While yes. you're getting that set up, do you want to tell us uh, what you're doing with your frosting? See, I am a man who loves things to be of the utmost quality. So I spent a long time during that little intermission making delicious homemade buttercream. Uh -huh. I, I took the lid off the container and the foil on it and now it's going to be homemade. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, is that how you make homemade frosting? That's a lovely bowl. Yeah, the bowl. The bowl. The bowl. The bowl. The bowl. Mm -hmm. Why not? So if an insane investigator fails a push roll, he or she is convinced that they are somehow displaced in time, or perhaps they start believing they are living in a historic period, dressing and speaking in an archaic manner. Sounds kind of like a certain session we had in D&D. Why you gotta put that evil in this house, Ricky Bobby? <laughs> Found the Tupperware for transporting for judging. We have a hot and cold question for the surprise I wanted to do. That's okay. Two cups, it says. There's one, two. So my hope is that this pudding is not too yellow. That it's a, more of a milk or cream colored. Yeah, perfect. So it'll be a little bit yellow, but it won't be like neon yellow. Ooh, I like banana. Bowl up too bad. Don't get into trouble. Don't argue with the neighbors. Ah! You're arguing with the neighbors. Oh, he done murdered the neighbors. That's what he did. No, no, it's not blood. It's just cherry juice, which I suppose is cherry blood. Now it's that I think cherry about it. Blood. Let's give an eye view perspective. I mean, Bird's it's eye got view. bumps, but I'm pretty sure it's still like lumps so, of powdered sugar. In I'm there. smelling cinnamon over here, but the cherry looks that's it looks like very good cherry frosting. Okay, so after we had a miter 
meltdown over um, the status of my cake. Uh, that apparently had too much liquid in it and, and that did not figure the sugar to everything else ratio correctly. So, uh, we're just gonna move on and, and blitz decorate this and hope it comes out good. So I have my Orange Dreamsicle filling for the center. I took, before the video started, I took uh, vanilla pudding and mixed it with orange jello and just kind of set that up. Oh, what are you putting in there? A whole mixture of stuff. What are you putting in there? Do what you, you want to tell start? me what you're putting in there? I'm putting in some uh, gel food colors to make it more greenish. Oh, really? I'm putting in sour green apple schnapps, which is actually really delicious. Has nailed it! Taught you nothing! <laughs> Quiz! 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 If everyone, if at all, any one of them watches this show, <laughs> I mean, watches your, your watches video. Watches this channel. I swear to Lord, they're going to be like, ah, we know where our fans are really hiding. They'll be like, oh, yes, you do. Oh, he is pouring all the green in there. He is pouring all the green now in that's there. That's a mixture of booze, food coloring, and extract. Oh, I can smell the booze back here. How much did you put in there? Banana pudding. And now you get to laugh as I try to pipette that into those. We've made exactly a baker's dozen. Or not. <laughs> All right. One of these. We get an air bubble in there. I feel like there are probably going to be some gelatinous clumps that are going to show up just because stuck to the bottom. I don't know. Mine don't look that presentable. Yours look fine. Mine, this this thing is like a horror from the like, like Cthulhu game. Let's see the camera. Uh, there we go. Oh. See, that looks good, yeah. So I'm going to stuff my cupcakes with uh, gloop. Gloop! Can you describe what this gloop is? This gloop is basically pureed pears uh, that I reduced with pear juice. I threw a bit of ginger in it to kind of give it a more, kind of a floral pop to help draw away from the sweetness of watermelon and green apple of doom. Really quite beautiful. If I can pick the bag up. God, I hope you did not get that on camera. Mm hmm? Nothing. What? You did not get Are you recording? I, yeah, I'm recording. So you watched me fail to pick up a plastic bag like... Yeah. <laughs> it's so glorpity. Pairs hit the floor, but she won't move. Shoulda got low, 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 low. Five second rule will fly right here. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am so sorry. I don't know how well this is going to work. I'm going to wing it. Fill it. Fill it. Fill it. Just stick her in there and then fill it. The frost. No idea how to frost a cupcake. Apparently you got to be more dexterous than toast. Is not at all like toast. Does not take much. This frosting is very pink. I think that's enough. Couple of judges, couple of contestants. One for my mom, and I don't know what I'm going to do with these. Let's get a couple of them frosted, I guess. The parchment paper got welded too? The parchment too? paper got welded to like the sides of the pan. It would not come out no matter what I did. 
I have a feeling this is going to fall apart the instant I put it on the cake. I feel like it's too liquidy. Oh, that is definitely not going to hold its consistency. Okay. There we go. I got an idea. Not going to be making winning any prizes today, but no. oh, there's orange cream single stuff on here. And okay, it fits in the freezer. I'm putting it in the freezer. So get we're gonna get one more good shot of this this monstrosity that is my cake. That's whack. Okay. Oh, it's leaking all over my hands. Get yeah, that, that happens, hon. That happens. Ew, it's green. Literally oozing on my hands. It's gross. Mm. Ugh, get off of me, you vile knave. The world record for the long jump is around 29 feet. That's fascinating. It is. What are you, reading Snapple caps? Uh, no, I'm reading the jump skill from the Call of Cthulhu Keeper manual. Close enough. I'm gonna be learning how to play and run campaigns if anyone out there in Watcherland is listening. I like mean, that. if you look at it, it looks like... Yeah, a, it looks like green apple taffy. It looks like a watermelon, like the coloration, like the color scheme says watermelon.